up, Crackhead Nation? It's your girl, Princess Galaxy, and I'm wearing my, my shirt. It's a shirt with no shaved underarms. So thank you, next. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about how to camp out for a K-pop concert. So if you don't know what camping out means when it comes to concerts, I'll give you a quick synopsis. So basically when you're standing in line for a concert, you're waiting to be like, you know, brought into the venue. But for camping, you are camping for a closer spot to the artist. So basically a closer spot to the stage as humanly possible. You can be camping out for either general admission, if that's what your concert has, like general admission floor seats, or you can be camping for soundtrack, which is the most common for K-pop concerts. Most concerts, at least before concerts didn't exist anymore, usually had seated type of things. For bigger groups like BTS and Blackpink, for the most part, it's going to be seated around the arena or stadium. For Blackpink, I'm gonna always mention it because I love Blackpink so much. Also, I saw Light Up the Sky, it made me cry. That's not what this is about. But for example, for Blackpink, I had VIP, which basically meant that we had to wait in lines all day. I mean, I was the first person in the arena in Chicago. So what does that mean? That basically means I was just standing in line and <laughs> I was right up in the super duper close. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it, what's the best strategy to have, and let's go. So the first one is to have a plan. Oh my God, guys. You need to know what you're doing before you get in that line, okay? You need to know how long you need to be in the What are you camping for? Are you camping for general admission or for a sound check? What type of things do you need in line? Basically knowing how long you're gonna be in line will determine what type of things you need. Do you need, you know, a bunch of unnecessary stuff? Like, I don't know, this random stuff? And you're gonna need to know what time they're gonna be giving out wristbands or, you know, letting people inside the arena. So these things are really important and you'd be surprised how many people get like sound check tickets and stuff and like they just wait till the last minute to find out like you don't wake up on the day of and be like oh where what am I supposed to do? You gotta find out beforehand. So all these things when you get a ticket for the most part they will be sending you this information not as soon as you buy the ticket but it will be probably a few days before your concert like for your event. Number two this one should be pretty easy but it's also very important get in the line as early as possible now for example for me when i saw blackpink i didn't get in the line overnight because i you know i saw the venue day before and there was literally no one there so i think overnight camping is can be a little pointless unless bts does what they did again for city field and you know you have like a huge group and like a bunch of people wanting to go to this concert. I think it's important to not get there like super duper like like 8 p.m. the day before. You know, I've seen people get in line like 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. and they pass out the passes at like 11 or 12 and they're usually the first ones by the stage to see the boys, so. So number tres is to bring food and a phone charger. You really, like, this is also part about having your plan at first. Like, if you don't have a plan or what you're gonna do, like, you will be in line for most of your time and you're gonna be super duper hungry. And I think the most important thing is, like, my rule of tip is, like, eat a handful of food and, like, like a handful of water. That's all you're gonna need because if you think about it, you're not gonna be in line that long. You are gonna be in line that long. What I mean is that you're not going to be in line doing jumping jacks or exerting yourself or anything like that. Unless it's super duper hot, I really recommend that you take like a good amount of food and a good amount of water. No more, no less. Don't, like if you have a bag, that's fine. Like a bag that fits like the capacity and fits all the rules and things like that. But please do not bring useless stuff. I've seen so many k-pop videos on youtube of like people being like bring this and bring all this like unless you're on your period you don't have to bring anything else but your charger your your money slash your id and some emotional support for yourself like you do not need all these extra things unless like you said you're like i said you're on your period and like you need to bring some pads and tampons and maybe like some for your cramps and stuff and number four is dress for the weather it's really important to make sure that you're dressed for weather because um it'll be super hot outside and you'll be wearing like this big ass jacket 
or you know it'll be super cold outside and you'll just be wearing a t-shirt what i recommend this is what i do so if i know that it's gonna be like cold in the morning and then like it's gonna get hotter later i will just sacrifice and just wear like like i'll wear like maybe long pants and maybe like a short like a small top like this one so like say in chicago for like if i was seeing bts and soldier field which i plan on doing next year so let me know if you're gonna do it too <laughs> um like say it's like in the morning it's like 53 degrees and then by 12 p.m when they start passing out the tickets or like 11 or 12 usually that's like the time it is by 12 p.m it will be like 80 you know what i mean I will, since it's 53 degrees, I'll either bring like a really light jacket because your girl be getting sweaty sometimes, or I'll just wear a light top because I know later on it's gonna get hot. It's all just dependent on what you wanna do and what you're comfortable with. If you know your body, if you know you get sweaty easily, if you know you, you perspire like me, then, you know, just, use your, use, use, use your female intuition, girl. And if you a boy, use your, I don't know what men got. Use your male intuition. Number five, this is somewhat optional. I know not a lot of people have this privilege, but like if you are going with a parent, use someone as a standby. That honestly, you having someone, like being by yourself, is going by yourself is cool because I go to concert by myself all the time, but like the people who like come with their parents, they really, like even if your parent isn't going like, isn't going to sound check like with you like they can like hold your space in line you know like that's amazing and also my last tip which also coincides with the have a person on standby tip is to make friends make friends be nice okay no reason to be bitchy no no reason to be rude because if you're rude and if you gotta pee you leave, you're not getting your spot back. You're going all the way in the line. Congratulations, you were number five and now you're number 95. So yeah, one of the things that really made or like can really make or break experience is getting along with the people around you. Because like, at least for black people, like for the VIP thing, I was around them all day. Like we were waiting in like three or four separate lines together all day. And like, for the most part, we were in the front of the line because we weren't just like being bitchy and rude to each other. Like we we're like, okay, we're all here for one purpose to see, you know, our girls or for you, it could be our boys or whoever you're gonna see. So like, let's bond, you know? And you know, if people aren't like super, you know, friendly and nice, like at least try to be kind to others because even if people aren't like, super social and stuff, it doesn't mean that they're rude, you know what I mean? I already have a video which you can watch up here about how to go to a K-pop concert by yourself or even if you're going with someone that like doesn't really like K-pop or kind of like, eh, I'm just here because mom told me to. You can totally watch that video and it'll also teach you how to like make friends with people and not be afraid of people because most people I know are afraid of people, which I don't understand. I fear no one. <laughs> so camping out for concerts is actually really easy and I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, like literally any, and leave a comment, let me know if you like this and if it really helped you because that's why I like making these videos because it's like, it's not just because, oh, YouTube, I, I'm known for them and I do, I'm popular with K-pop concert. It's literally because I love talking to you guys and helping you guys out whenever I can. And um, I'm a benevolent queen, so love to see it. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you so much. Have a great day.